Hi, in this video, we'll talk about vitamin B6. Now, vitamin B6 comes in three flavors. I mean, they're combinedly known as vitamin B6. They're pyridoxine, pyridoxal, or pyridoxamine. All are basically pyrimidine derivatives. So in this video, we would learn about them and learn about the chemistry. So pyridoxal, pyridoxine, or pyridoxamine all are different variants from which in an enzymatic way the active coenzyme is produced which is pyridoxal 5-phosphate. I mean you can imagine it as an active form which could be used as an coenzyme for several important metabolic enzymes we, which we would be learning in this video. Now from pyridoxamine, from pyridoxal and from pyridoxine the first step is to phosphorylate these compounds using pyridoxal kinase. After phosphorylation, most of the cases using the help of enzyme PNP oxidase, these compounds are oxidized to pyridoxal 5-phosphate. Now first of all, this pyridoxal 5-phosphate could be an enzyme for several enzymatic reactions. It has been reported more than 140 enzymatic reactions use pyridoxal 5-phosphate as its coenzyme. Now, these vitamin B6 could be obtained from fish, leafy vegetables, legumes, cereals, meat, egg, and even from seeds which contains a lot of oil, like sunflower seeds or olive oil seeds like that. Vitamin B6 or pyridoxal 5-phosphate is super important in context of amino acid metabolism, especially the enzymes which are important for transamination, deamination, requires pyridoxyl 5-phosphate or PLP as a coenzyme. Especially, transaminase use PLP as its coenzyme. Now, when in transamination, when a substrate amino acid is getting converted to a keto acid, at the same time, pyridoxyl phosphate gets converted to pyridoxamine phosphate. So, you can understand the catalysis of this reaction requires PLP. Not only that, inside of our blood, we know there is the active molecule is hemoglobin and the hemoglobin has heme moieties which are oxygen carriers. Now what happens is this heme synthesis, the key enzyme which is important for heme synthesis which is known as delta aminolevulinic acid synthase or this enzyme converts succinyl coa and glycine into delta aminolevulinic acid, the first and foremost step of heme synthesis. This requires PLP as its coenzyme so we can understand if vitamin B6 is not there and PLP is not there, this particular ala synthesis or delta aminolevulinic acid synthesis is non-functional. Now with the deficiency of this particular enzyme, heme is not produced and the result, it might lead to an anemic state. Not only that, vitamin B6 deficiency always accompanies vitamin B3 deficiency because we know vitamin B3 or niacin is actually uh, produced from tryptophan via several enzymatic step. Now at the last step, kynurunin is getting converted to niacin with the help of kynuruninase. Now this kynuruninase is an enzyme which requires PLP as its coenzyme. So without the, this, the production or the biosynthesis of niacin is also hampered. Now you can clearly understand if bios deficiency of B6 and B3 are correlated, both the deficiency can lead to pellagra, which accompanies with the dry and scaly skin and inflammation, especially or rashes and blemishes near the facial region. Other than this thing, vitamin B6 deficiency often leads to problem in glycogenolysis. We know in glycogenolysis, glycogen phosphorylase is super important. Now, this glycogen phosphorylase uses pyridoxal 5 phosphate as a an coenzyme and it takes active part in the catalysis process. And that's why in glycogenolysis, vitamin B6 is so important and that's how it is important in context of glucose metabolism. Not only that, several important neurotransmitters such as dopamine, noradrenaline, adrenaline, serotonin, all these things, biosynthesis requires enzymes 
And most of these enzymes in this biosynthetic pathway use PLP as a coenzyme. And you can clearly understand with the deficiency of vitamin B6, these enzymes are not functional or less functional, which might lead to an imbalance of this neurotransmitter in the synapses. Ultimately, the result is peripheral neuritis. Not only that, the di daily requirement of vitamin B6 is 1 to 2 mg. But during lactation or pregnancy, it is increased to 2.5 mg per day. Now, too much vitamin B6 is also a problem. We have already seen that vitamin B6 deficiency has many consequences. But too much vitamin B6 could lead to toxicity. It might lead to numbness, nerve damage, muscle pain, muscle atrophy, and many other features. So that's why a fine balance in, of vitamin B6 in the body is super important for healthy physiology. So I hope this video was informative and it was useful. If you like this video, give it a quick thumbs up. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe and do let me know in the comment section that how you like my videos and what improvements you need in these videos. Thank you.